Today on the channel, Jerry was a race car driver, and so was He-Man. But today on the channel, from He-Man and the Masterverse, we've got Pighead, and we've got He-Man 2. The Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Masters of the Universe unboxing and review, and today we head to the Masterverse for Pighead and New Adventures, He-Man. But for all your He-Man needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're hitting up Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description below. And we go back to the Masterverse wave here is really encompassing all aspects and all years of the He-Man franchise. And I guess Sun Man 2 is Sun Man's been folded into the He-Man universe, Masters universe, universe. But we do get Pig Head from the Sun Man. And then the new adventures, He-Man. He Man, and that's where we're going to start our reviews here today. Of course, we're going to do them like we do all the other ones on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging, we're going to talk about it, we'll unbox it, we'll talk about it, we'll do a little comparisons as well along the way. But the new adventures of He Man, absolutely god awful, just terrible. I remember being like eight or nine years old, maybe 10 when they came out, and I tried to watch, and I felt like I watched maybe the first three episodes, and man. It was a rough watch. It was a rough watch. Uh, for those that knew the old school He-Man, the filmation, it just wasn't uh, lighting that fire that we were looking for. They were trying to make it too futuristic and in space and things and just wasn't working out. Just wasn't working out. For me, at least. Maybe there's some of you that have a fondness for it. I did not buy the toys at the time. Just wasn't going to happen. And uh, I do like the nostalgia factor, if you can even call it nostalgia, because I do remember it. But uh, not enough to like really search it out. But I like that they're incorporating a little bit of this into the Masterverse. I have to imagine we will get a Skeletor version eventually. And that's really all you need. You need that yin and yang. And, and let's call it there. Let's call it there. But we'll see what happens. But this, I believe, is a Target exclusive. This is on Target shelves right now. Shipping from Target. So if you're looking for this version of He-Man, head over to Target. I think that's the only place you're going to find him. Where Pighead is a natural release, going to be everywhere eventually. Uh, so if you're looking for him, you can go to the big bad toy stores of the world. But let's take a look at old He-Man in the package here. Got that big bubble window. Love that. Very futuristic weapons on old He-Man. Got that He-Man logo. It just never really uh, hit the mark for me. Just a weird, weird, more robotic, more scientific, more sci-fi-like He-Man logo. Just not for me. He-Man's name there. Multiverse on the top. All those hieroglyphics things. The UPC that nobody knows what it's for. The secret UPC as it's known. 30 points articulation up here for him, and he is the galactic protector. You know how I know that? It says it right here. There you go, right there. And then you got a very interesting artwork there. Good artwork, just not my He-Man once again. Got the blurb on the back. We got a little cross-sell. We got some other things. Be on the lookout for him. You can find most of those at your local Target currently. Uh, and then you got a little artwork back there as well. Let's see what it says about our old friend He-Man here on the back, the old galactic protector himself. By the power of... Eternia, the endangered planet of Primus. Oh, and like I said, Jerry was a race car driver, and his name was Mud. And Primus, one of those bands a lot of people assume I just love Primus, because it's a lot of it in my wheelhouse. Uh, they got some bands they're, they're friends with, like the band Ween is one of my favorite bands of all time. But Primus, for whatever reason, never hit the mark for me. And there was one fateful summer, four or five years ago, what is time, uh, My one of my all-time favorite bands, Clutch, and my favorite kind of band touring now, I guess, that's current, if you can call Clutch current, uh, but Primus and Clutch uh, shared a concert. I think they did a you know a double bill set where they were both kind of headliners, headliner sets. And I had to see so many Primus shows over that summer. I think I went to four nights in a row of uh, Clutch and Primus stuff, and I just can't get into Primus. Whatever it is, I don't know. It's just not everything is for everybody, I guess. But uh, Primus is under attack by the evil mutants here, leaving the Galactic Guardians but one choice. They travel back through time to summon the one hero who could save them, He-Man. The mouse, the most powerful man in the universe. So good for He Man saving the day. I wish he could have saved me from those Primus shows. Ah, sorry, Primus fans. Got that stone background we're very used to. Off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. How about a little plastic prison for He Man? Getting ready to protect the universe is what he is. And his new digs. He's got some quite the new outfit here. And of course, he's locked in at the ankles. Got to lock him in at the arms, too, while we're at it. Let's just lock him in all, everywhere. That's that's what we're doing right here with the old Galactic Protector himself. Who's going to protect him from these twist ties and these tie-downs? That's the real question. Who's going to protect him from being locked in forever? I don't know. We'll find out here. But there he goes, pulling him out. My goodness. Hard to get out of here. Hard to get out. 
We got things. We got twist ties flying all over the place. What do we even got a twist tie on the power sword? And oh man, they're really locking it down. Locking He Man down. They don't want him going anywhere. Anywhere. And the hands. There it is. See you later. Goodbye. We got twist ties all over the place. Just all over the place. What an absolute mess. There it is. See you later in the garbage. And now we get down to the old Galactic Protector himself. Let's take a look at old He Man. Put him off to the side. Let's look at his accessories first. And the first thing you got to look at is the hands. He's got two gripping hands out of the package. And then we got two. Yes, two Fists of Fury for He-Man. Makes all the sense in the world. When your weapons fail you, it's time to break out the old fist. And that's what He-Man was never afraid to do. So we got two fists for He-Man. Then we got some of the weapons here. I don't know. What do you call this shield? I don't know. This is not iconic. This is a very futuristic-like shield, of course, here for him. Uh, very, very interesting. But it is kind of a neon green color, translucent, see-through. Very similar with the power sword here. Just not my power sword. Just looks like something... Very sci-fi. Too sci-fi. That was the issue with this series for me. And I get it. When it came out, sci-fi was all the rage and cartoons, things like that. Just wasn't for me, and it probably wasn't for a lot of you either. And I think most He-Man fans uh, feel the same way. I don't know if there's a real love by anyone of this series. Maybe if you were like four or five years old when this came out, maybe you were all in. I don't know. But I definitely was not. But... Good for what it is as far as weapons go for He-Man. And then you do get his protecting outfit here. So he's got his little vest going on. You can put that over the top. You can take a strap off. You can put this on. Clips on. You can store the sword in the back. Always good to have that. And then you get his helmet. And something about He-Man wearing a helmet was always strange to me too. Very uh, motorcycle-like helmet going on for He-Man. Gold color. Kind of is what it is. And that's kind of the sums up this figure as my guess is it just kind of is what it is. But we got He-Man looking only like He-Man could look if he was a galactic protector coming out in a second version of his series. I think that sums it up right there. But a different look of He-Man. I don't know if anybody, if you handed him this head, said, Who is this guy? I don't know if they would say He-Man. I don't know what you would say. But he's got the blonde He-Man hair. you got the ponytail, which is just strange on He-Man. Uh, it just feels weird. He-Man's got to have the long, shaggy hair. No no ponytail. It's kind of like me. I don't wear ponytails. Part of it is I can never tie one good enough. But just not for me. You just got to let it flow. Let it flow. Uh, that's what He-Man should have done. Maybe it would have uh, changed his fortunes back then uh, in the New Adventures series if he would have ditched that ponytail. Who knows? But then you do got the... Uh, uh, what do you call this? The vest, uh, the strap-on piece over the top. Of course, not iconic like the original one, uh, but you can put the sword in here if you uh, so be it there. It's got the gold and red colors we're kind of used to. Got the newer He-Man logo on the belt. Uh, very interesting, gold and red once again. But the blue is very striking in the pants department. It really does make this figure pop. That is probably my favorite part of the figure is the bright blue color on the pants. Uh, looking nice there. You do got the gold boots, uh, the big gold uh, protector here at the top as well. Just an interesting look, but I guess it, it was for the time. I guess we'll just have to put it that way. You do got the gold forearm pieces. You got one where you can, of course, plug in the shield into the forearm like so. Fits right in there. Very, very good. Of course, arm's going to go all the way around. Uh, double jointed, pinless elbows. They're playing the hits, though. You do get a bicep cut, hands removable back and forth, head side to side, back and forth as well. You got a little articulation hula hoop at the top, then you got the traditional waist articulation. Those big old He Man splits. You got to do those splits in space from time to time. You got the thigh cut, a little bit loose on that thigh cut, I will say. Double jointed, pinless knees looking good. Boot cut, yep, got a boot cut. And then ankles back and forth, side to side. So plenty of articulation on this guy. And these Masterverse figures, we've unboxed a ton of them. Actually, we've unboxed every single one that's been made on the channel. I really do like them. I like what we get here. It's a different scale for He-Man. I like that it kind of brings everything together. It's really the modern-day Masters Universe classics. Maybe not as popular, maybe not as cool, maybe not as deep of cuts. Uh, but it's kind of representing what that was to me a little bit, at least in the market right now. Does He-Man fit on a ringside stand? Yes, he does. Use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the Mattel ringside collectible stands, as I always do say. But he does fit perfectly there. A little comparison, as you guys know, I'm a classics guy. Got the Masters Universe Classics version here. This one's got his uh, vest on and his helmet, so you can choose that old adventure, do what you want to do. To me, I'm probably going to keep him how he came out of the pack, but I'll put this stuff on him, see what all the fuss is about. Don't think there's a lot of fuss for it, but it's definitely an interesting take. It's definitely an interesting turn in the He-Man pantheon of the franchise, 
And uh, I think we all take a wrong direction a time or two in our life. And I guess that's what He-Man's wrong direction was, the new adventure time frame, if you ask me. But there's He-Man. Now we turn our attention over to a pig. A pig head. Quite the name on this guy, but we're no stranger to him. We've got two different versions of him in the Origins line. Now we get him in the Masterverse. He's ready to square off against Sun Man. It's Sun Man logo, pig head, Masterverse, UPC at the top. 20 points to articulate. 30 points. Yeah, 30 points, not 20. 30. Uh, and you get Sun Man there or there. On the side, what's it say about old pig head? The wicked enemy of Sun Man. Oh, he's wicked. And I love this artwork on the side. That is cool. That is an awesome, awesome picture. I love that a whole lot. Uh, an interesting looking character. There's no denying it, but there he is on the back. A little cross-sell action down below as well. We did unbox Shadow Weaver and Manny Faces. Sorceress, she's eluding me. I still need the Sorceress. Probably have to do her by herself. Maybe we'll do that one of these days here on the channel. Hopefully sooner rather than later. Got the blurb back here for Pighead. Let's see what it says about this whole Pighead character here. He's got War and Peace back here as well. The rulers of the sun punished Prince Zigor of House Shadus for his cruelty, banished him to the shadows, and transformed him into Pighead. Half man, half pig. Like a young man bear pig. Uh, now he has one goal. Steal the energy from the first sun so that he might harness its power and rule the galaxy. Only one man stands in his way, the Sun Man. So how about that? Old pig head, living life. Living life as a pig-headed man. There it is. Got that uh, cobblestone background there, a little bit of a wall, looking always really cool. See you later, pig head packaging. Now we got old pig head in the old plastic prison. There he is, looking good, looking ugly, looking like a pig. Uh, quite the pig, there it is. See you later. Pigs are a crazy uh, species. You know, pigs will really eat anything. You always hear stories, especially here in the Midwest, where, you know, back in the day, people would kill people in small towns and things, and they'd dump them at the old pig farm. And the pigs, they eat everything, everything. Uh, I've worked for, as you guys know, I've worked for a ton of different food companies over the years, and I work for a major food company currently. And uh, once a week, we have a, a plant where the farmers come, and they'll pick up all the old uh, bread, things like that. And these farmers feed all of it to their pigs, but they don't even take it out of the packaging the pigs just eat the packaging and everything so just absolutely wild animals old pigs are pretty ruthless you know they eat their young all kinds of stuff just wild wild times wild times the old pig farm i can only imagine just uh, living on one or working on one but there it is but you tell me your favorite pig story <laughs> babe pig in the city could that be your favorite pig story who knows who knows there it is crunch crunch See you later. And we got the pig out of the package. What the heck is this? We got some crazy stuff here. Crazy stuff. Can't wait to dive in on old pig head. Man, oh man, this is an interesting one. But let's start off. We'll start with the hands. He's got a splayed out hand and a gripping hand. His other one, another gripping hand and a fist. We always got to have one fist. I got to say, say what you want about some of these Masterverse characters. I love the packaging. I love the cross sell. I love the blurbs. I love that we always get the fist and the different things like that. So they really do hit a lot of home runs. Uh, some of the character selections, some of the things could always be better. But I do feel as a whole, this line is doing a lot of smart things. We do get the pig head shield here going on. The nice purple and blue colors. He's a very colorful character, as we know. Got a lot of dings and dents on the shield. This is a guy that's seen some battle against Sun Man and his friends. Uh, we got that there. Then we get Sun Man's, uh, what is this, ball, ball and chain? What do you call it? Is this called a mace? I don't even know what you call this thing, but it's a nice translucent blue color looking really nice. Got a sharp little point on the handle so we can hit you with this and stab you with this end. So a very medieval, very dangerous weapon, all in the blue color here. You do got a little uh, plastic connector of a chain. I would love to see real chain, but if it was a real chain, it would obviously just kind of hang down. But it would have been a nice attention to detail. Obviously, it would cost a little bit more, but still really, really nice. And then what the heck is this thing? It's like a serpent of some kind, but it's uh, very flexible. It almost feels like it, it is a little sticky. I mean, you see something like this, you're like, gosh, this looks like it would be sticky. Yeah, it does. It almost reminds you of like a gummy worm. That's kind of how it feels. Uh, very movable, very moving around, a little bit of stickiness to it. Just a very interesting accessory. And we haven't got anything like this in the Masterverse line. So not exactly sure. I guess you wrap this around him a little bit, just a little snake. And, you know, people collect what they collect. Some people collect snakes. And I guess Pighead's a snake guy, so good for him. 
Now we get Pighead out of the package here, and I gotta say, he does look a little bit mean out of the package here. He looks a little bit intimidating, I will definitely say that. He does got these forearm, or I guess I should say bicep uh, covers that go up on the shoulder, but very annoying as they are loose, they fall around, they dangle all over the place. Uh, that could be very annoying. We have to try to slide those on, but that that is annoying. That takes me out of the game here. I'd almost rather have them just sculpted in or not here at all because they fall around. Yeah, driving me absolutely nuts. So that's one big negative against this figure off the bat. But that's about it, though. I love the green color here against the pink and blue. Just a crazy color combination that somehow works for a pig-like character like him. I get that big old pig face with the snout, and then you got the tusks off to the side, one over this way. Just a very, very ugly-looking dude. Uh, and he's got quite the crown, or I guess helmet, I guess we'll call it. It's, like a, it's a helmet with a crown-type piece. Uh, more helmet, I guess, with some big old horns at the top as well. Got a nice vest over the top with spikes on it. You never know. It'll stop and protect you, I guess, those spikes will a little bit if somebody's trying to attack you. But a nice brown color, really taking the monotony of all this out. And then you got the scales on the loincloth. He must have went to Eternia and said, give me a twist on the old fur one. I want one with scales. So it looks like he scaled a fish or something. I don't know what he did there. Got the furry boots that we're used to, but a pink fur, pretty crazy, pretty daring, pretty fashion forward for a pig person, I would say, to get some fur boots. He's got those forearm guards there looking really mean and tough in pink with all the spikes on them. And then, of course, the gloved hands going on. So quite the look here. I mean, it really does stand out. But the worst thing is these arm gauntlets things just dangling around. Just very annoying. Very annoying. Articulation-wise, head side to side, back forth, up and down. Arms all the way around. Bicep cut. Double-jointed. Pinless elbows. Hits being played here. Hands back and forth, hands removable, waist articulation, got a hula hoop up top a little bit there. Yeah, a pretty good amount of hula hoop, actually. Good articulation. It's 30 points, after all. You get the big old pig head splits, if need be, and then you get the thigh cut, you get the double-jointed pinless knees, then you get the boot cut, and then you get the ankles back and forth, side to side. So pig head looking big, looking mean, looking bad, looking nationwide, like a young ZZ Top, as we always do say. Does he fit on a ringside collectible stand? Use discount code KYLE, save yourself 10%. What do you know? Fits like a glove, old pig head here. Is this a must-have? I don't know. It depends what kind of collector you are. I don't know if there's a lot of hardcore, dedicated Sunman fans here in 2023. Uh, you know, it's been folded in. That whole universe has been folded into the Masters universe. But I know a few collectors personally that said, I don't have a reflection back to the day, a nostalgia for Sunman. So I'm out on the Sunman characters. So I could see people passing on pig head. But at the end of the day, you could always put him with Skeletor. He could be another Skeletor henchman. Uh, he fits the scale, all that kind of stuff. He doesn't look totally out of place if you put him with, you know, Clawful and uh, Merman and things like that. He, he could mix in that beast uh, with Beast Man and the rest of those guys if you really needed him to. At least that's how I feel. But we do have Pig Head here. I believe this is the Sun Man 3-pack version, if I'm not mistaken. But we've got a couple of different versions of Pig Head in the last year or so. But there's the Origin-style version. And then, of course, you got the Sun Man. you got to have him. We had him not too long ago. So now, much like He-Man and Skeletor, you got Sun Man, Pig Head. You can kind of have different factions, different representations of the yin and yang and the good and bad between these. And I did grab uh, Arnold Drummond, a.k.a. Sun Man, right here. So you got both incarnations here both kind of styles of pig head and sun man together at the table at last so there it is an interesting unboxing nothing that totally blew me away and changed my life pig head i'm gonna prefer over this he-man this he-man he is what he is it's cool i guess uh, after all these years but a lot of us if you were like me you passed on the original he-man toy line of that and i think you made the right decision if you made the decision i made there's zero nostalgia for me I guess it just depends your age bracket there. But Pighead, not a bad figure. He-Man, it is what it is. That's what I'm going to leave it at with that. But what say you guys out there in YouTube land? Where do you leave it at? What is your thoughts on these two? Easy passes, easy pickups, pick and choose, wait for clearance? Let me know in the comments down below. Of course, you made it this far. You might as well like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day and then some, including everything and anything, Masters of the Universe. And we got even more content for you over on the old Patreon channel. Truly your best way to support the channel with early access to videos like this, bonus content, Q&As, exclusive videos, pizza reviews. Don't forget those. A lot going on over in the old Patreon channel. And then there's a lot going on over at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget to hit me up and follow along over on social media. SirPaul64 on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Pig Head and He-Man, 
I am Kyle. See you guys all real soon.